and the second option to work with uh, rainfall erosivity you can just uh, download uh, already ready data which was modeled by uh, this global rainfall erosivity as as DAC European Commission Joint Research Center uh, uh, scientists. Uh, so this is already uh, prepared uh, prepared uh, data set. See here, uh, which are which is by the way, uh, it's not uh, free. Uh, it's actually free for use, but you should uh, order it. Request form. So we should fill these blanks uh, uh, and after and. I need to explain why you you need this data. You can write, for instance, for research, for my master's degree, and for my bachelor's degree, etc. And after a few days, uh, to your uh, to your email, uh, the, uh, the European Commission uh, will send the raster data set. This one, a global air. Uh, it's actually huge. Uh, it's more than uh, three gigabytes almost three and a half gigabytes and this is uh, uh, in a GOT format and uh, we can actually just open it with ArcMap see yeah. so it looks like this so this is a this is a, a model at rainfall erosivity factor for for the whole world uh, it's actually a uh, not very accurate because the spatial uh, see the spatial resolution of uh, the of it is very high so uh, I can change the projection of uh, of my um, data frame you know in order to find out what is the uh, what is the cell size of my data here so I just uh, change the spatial reference to data frame and you can see here that is uh, more than 827 meters multiplied to 827 meters so it's a uh, spatial resolution of one pixel it's uh, it's huge so I will uh, again return to my previous initial uh, coordinate system so uh, after uh, we will work with both of them in our model so we will use both error factors at first we should calculate our factor using net cdf uh, format of uh, i will just remove here so far that's a cdf format of climate research unit and uh, using model maker and raster calculator Hey guys, if you like the video, please consider supporting the channel by purchasing online courses via my Udemy's profile, JS Lab. Here you can find multiple courses regarding JS remote sensing. The link to the profile is below.